In today's video, we're searching for the $2 million trading card. What's up guys, we're back with another hopefully epic video because there is a very high ceiling for what could happen in this video. Probably won't, I mean, it's not going to, let's be honest. I have before me the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth Magic the Gathering set. So it's been a while since we've opened Magic the Gathering, but I figured that I had to check out this set because there's been an immense amount of hype around it. And uh, these boxes are very expensive. Now looking at this box, uh, you might not be able to tell, but this is like a very, very small box. I think inside there's 12 packs worth. So we're opening 12 packs and it cost me over $400 for a brand new set. And if you're not familiar with all the stuff going on with this set, the reason that this is so expensive is this little thing right here may include serialized ring card. Now, if you're familiar with Lord of the Rings, you know there's like the ring, you know, the ring of power, they gotta destroy it. There's like the dwarf rings, there's the elven rings, all that different stuff. Uh, they have included those rings in this set, but not just included them as like rare pulls, they actually have numbers on them, which is what the serialized thing means. If you're not in like sports cards or anything like that, they will put like a one out of 10. So there's 10 total copies and you can get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and that'll be like a serialized card that means that you and nine other people are the only people that own this card well what they did was they did serialized cards they had some that were like one in 300 one in 700 probably like you know the elven rings are probably one in 300 because you know there's three elven rings in the mo in movies and books and everything and then the dwarf rings i think there's seven so there's probably one in 700 and then the the human whatever they call them where the nazgul they're one in 900 is what i assume i actually don't know that off the top of my head but i think that's how they did it but the one of one ring they didn't do one out of a hundred they did one out of one so what that means is out of thousands millions of packs there's one ring so there have been like bounties put out which means basically people are saying if you pull this in a certain amount of time i will give you this amount of money it's gone all the way up to two million dollars literally there is an offer out there right now like who knows if they'll actually follow through with it or whatever but there is an offer right now if i were to pull the one of one card out of this box I could sell it right now for $2 million. If I were to get it, if someone asked me on Twitter already because I posted a picture of this box, I would sell it right away. I don't have any connection to the card, a $2 million card, it's brand new. You give me $2 million, sure, that would be great. But I am excited to open this and see some of the artwork on some of these. I have seen a couple of cards from the set and they look beautiful. So hopefully we can at least get some cards like that because in reality, we are not gonna pull the one of one card like let's be honest it's just not gonna happen so i would advise if you are getting this product don't buy it just for the ring because you're not gonna win in today's video i'm giving away 50 dollars to one of you guys all you have to do is like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you think of this set and uh will we pull a ring okay that's enough chatting i wanted you guys to be caught up if you guys are Yu-Gi-Oh people like me uh so you know what is going on and let's just open this thing up. Also, it's gonna be a shorter video because it's only 12 packs. So we're gonna take our time, check out some of the artwork because that's really what I'm here for. And of obviously the hype of the ring, but I'm not gonna be pulling anything. But I do have a slight hope, you know, maybe we could pull one of the other serialized ones, but even those like one in 900, 700, 300 is really, 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 really rare. So it's probably not gonna happen. Okay, so it looks like 12 packs, right? 12 packs and then one box topper. Okay, here we go. Sealed product, not for resale. Okay, here we go, Tales of Middle Earth. Let's see what our box topper is. Our first opening here, uh, let's see if it's a cool looking card. So Magic Gathering, I do love the backs of Magic cards. I think they look really, really cool. Let's see, we have a Ring of Barra here. All right, we got a ring, guys. <laughs> Shout out to us. Yeah, this is not serialized. I think if it is serialized, it will be right here on the artwork. Should say like, oh, oh, whatever, or, you know, 100 out of 500 or whatever it is. No, 500, I don't think, but that is a cool card. We have a ring officially. Let's count the rings. Ring counter on the screen to see how many we get. So inside we get how many, how many cards? 15 cards. So you get 15 times 12. That's the total amount of cards you get. Magic Gathering Universes Beyond. I do think it's really cool how Magic like collabs a lot of different like franchises and stuff. So they can do really cool things like Lord of the Rings. I think it'd be cool if Yu-Gi-Oh could do stuff like that, but I feel like that's not their style. Um, they're going to let other, you know, TCGs do that, but... I do think it's very, very cool. And it's interesting, like I wouldn't open this probably unless uh, they had collabed with Lord of the Rings, so it's very cool. All right, I think they're all foil too, right? I don't know, I think the bottom, we could tell what kind of foil or what kind of rarity they are. These are very hard to open, okay. We've got a human soldier, okay. Is he a Gondor, Rohirrim, what, what do we got here? Okay, we have a, let's see, is there, what's a T? I don't know what a T is. We have a human soldier. Uh, what is the effect here? It's a one of one. Is it even, is it just like a vanilla in magic? I guess that's how it works. Oh, I forgot they do this. They do this food. Okay, okay, so it's the backup. I remember they do this now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's a double-sided one, cool. 
Okay, Escape from Orthanc, very cool. Classic card, so there's the common. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. T must be token, that's what that means. Okay, Escape from Orthanc, very awesome. That's when uh, Gandalf hops on the eagle, very cool. You have Knights of Dol, Emroth, that is also a common. All foils too, these foils are pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie, they're like full, full foil patterns, not just on the, you know, on the, like a super rare in Yu-Gi-Oh. Cast it into the fire, destroy it, okay. We have Elven Farside, very cool. All right, so we're looking at all commons. So this is when they see them coming into uh, Lothlorien, I think. Horses of Ruin Inn, it's an uncommon. We're getting into the uncommons. We have a Shadow Fax, Lord of Horses, very cool. We have a Plains, all right, so basic land. Uh, the Shire Plains, that's pretty cool. I'd be rocking that if I was playing Magic. Uh, that's an L for land, okay. Is it next, no? Oh, a rare, there and back again. A Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. Very nice, looking good. Saga, after this saga, enter. Okay, I don't, I don't know, I'm not gonna read. I don't know what it does, okay. Enchantment Saga, very cool, it's a rare. Do you get one rare? You get multiple rares, okay. Wait, is this a non holo Oh, so there's a lot of hollows, but they're not all. Shagrat, a classic orc. Very cool. He is not a hollow, though. He's a 4-4, man. That's pretty big, I think. We have Wake of the Dragon, another rare. All right, so this is not foil either. So I guess the front half is foil. Frodo! We got Frodo. Let's go. Frodo Baggins. We have Mines of Moria. Mines of Moria. My cousin Balin will give us a royal welcome. All right, many partings. Cool. We have a Gollum, Patient Plotter. I oh, mean, we're getting a lot of classic characters. And then an Aowen. Oh, yeah. Aowen. Yeah, not not the most epic um, card. Oh, it's a Mythic. Maybe that is an epic card. All right, next pack. I got to speed it up a little bit because, uh, you know, I was getting a little bit too into the cards because, I, you know, they're all Lord of the Rings, you know, big cards that you should know basically from the movie for the most part. All right, here we go. We have Tentacle. I think that this is our token, right? Yeah, token. There's also food on the back. Cool. So you get a token every pack, I assume. We have the Shire Terrace. That is really cool. We have the Oliphants, Esquire of the King. Yeah, very nice. Surrounded by orcs. Uh-oh, watch out. It's a common. We have an uncommon friendly rivalry. Okay, where'd I put my uncommon pack? I got a little uncommon stack going over here. Celeborn the Wise. Isn't he the guy that, uh, is he even? I'm trying to remember, is he in the books? I can't remember. Maybe he is. Yeah, yeah, maybe Galadriel's not in the books. I can't remember, it's been a while. Mountain, okay. Very cool. Uh, we got a rare flowering of the white tree. That's a rare. We got a mythic Arundul Andril. What am I saying? Andril, Flame of the West. Awesome mythic. Uh, Fealty of the Realm. That's a rare. We have Gollum, Patient Plotter. We got this last time. Interesting. Uncommon. We got Galadriel. So we've got Galadriel and Celeborn. Very cool. That's another rare. We have a Lash of the Balrog. That's just a common. Watch out, the Balrog. He's pretty scary. Uncommon, the Grey Havens, that is a beautiful card. The artwork and the foil looks really good on these cards. And then Gandalf, the Grey, he's just a rare man. Gandalf, the White Mythic, he's just a rare. So pretty cool. I mean, I guess rare is the second highest, but still pretty good. All right, we've got some cool characters so far. I'm not gonna lie, there's been some good stuff. We have, I feel like we got Frodo. We need Sam, we don't have Sam yet. Uh, obviously we use Gimli, I mean the goat, uh, Legolas, we could use. We don't have any of those guys. They are like, they're not like the movie, like actors or whatever but still even then there's still great characters that we want to pull there's a food okay second breakfast a classic one of the most quoted lines probably from lord of the rings brandywine farmer we have the mordor trebuchet yeah those things are very scary we have the old olag high crusher i don't know this guy very well uh ranger firebrand uncommon we have a golem's bite uh oh there hey we got a ring in there it's hit his mouth we got a ring or almost i guess it was like floating down with him we have a swamp there's a land a Fall of Gilgalad. All right, that's our first rare. Delighted Halfling. All right, that, that Halfling is looking a little interesting. We have a Sail into the West. Classic. Pedigan Took. Fool of a Took. We have an Uncommon. We have a rare. Frodo Sauron's Bane. That's a rare. And then Rosie Cotton of the Southland. The Southlands, if you guys watched uh, the, uh, the show. We have a uncommon there, and then a rising of the day uncommon, and a mythic Aragorn the Uniter. Let's go. That is sick. Aragorn, he's a 5'5. Five five. He's a big boy. All right. Aragorn the Uniter. Heck of a pull. Get Gandalf and Aragorn, not bad. Somehow we have not pulled a serialized ring yet. I don't know how this is possible. I mean, I thought we were just going to get it and have $2 million. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. These cards do look really cool, though. I'm a big fan of them so far. They are very, very solidly sealed. I solemnly seal. Okay, we have another food. We have Shelob's Ambush, the giant spider. Watch out. Breaking of the Fellowship, the Fellowship of the Ring. Enraged Huron, Nasty End. 
We have Fear, Fire, Foes. That's an uncommon. The Marher, Urukai Captain. We have an island. That's our first uh, water island, I guess you would call it. Um, land. I'm trying to say land. I kept saying water. I don't know what I was talking about. All right, Smeagol, helpful guide. So we have Gollum and Smeagol, both sides of him. Very nice. That's a rare. We have Gloin, Dwarf Emissary. Gimli and Gloin. Legolas, Greenleaf. We have Legolas. It's a rare, but it's not a hollow, but still cool. Samwise, let's go. We got Samwise Gam. He's an uncommon. That's so sad. Tom Bombadil, let's go. Here's a guy who did not make it into the movies, but is a huge part of the Fellowship of the Ring book. Mythic, that is cool. We have Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. He looks a little bit more intense in this than he does in the movies. We have a Lash of the Balrog, Hollow. Very cool. Cool to see that. And then Eowyn, Fearless Knight. We've got a couple of Eowyn cards. Two different Eowyn cards. Interesting. Now for Wrath. Now for Ruin. Ride forth. All right. Shower of Arrows. Cool. Shower of Scarecrow. We have Rally of the Hornburg. That's another common. Lost to the Legend. So many hollows. We got Ring Sight. Uncommon. Plains. We got a basic land. The File of Galadriel. That is a rare. Okay. We've got Flowering the Right Tree. We got this in a hollow earlier. That was really nice. Elvish Mariner. That's a rare. Uncommon Legolas, Counter of Kills. So there's multiple of each character, it seems like. We have a Mythic, Elisar the Elfstone. Awesome. Oh, that's a Ruxin special over there. Oh, we got Wizards Rock. What's a P? Planeswalker, maybe? I don't know. And then a Bilbo, Retired Burglar. These are both Ps. Okay, cool. And a uh, Mines of Moria. Okay, classic card right there. Very cool. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look up what that means because, you know, I don't know. Okay, next pack, here we go. We are not even halfway through, so I'm taking my my uh, sweet time here. I'm just trying to enjoy it. Here we go. Let me know what you think about this product, guys. Are you interested in seeing more? I mean, it's very expensive. They're 400 bucks, so probably not gonna see more, but maybe if you really like it, then maybe we will. Okay, we have Arwen's Gift, common. We have Mirkwood Spider. So spiders from Mirkwood, not as scary as Shelob, I'm just saying. Birthday escape, oh, escaping on the birthday. Rush of the room, we have Mel Meneldor, Swift Savior, uncommon. Tale of Tuniviel, we got a forest. We have a Aragorn, the Uniter. That is a mythic, that's a good one. Okay, mythic. Glam Dream, we got the sword, very cool. We got a Baragond of the Guard, that is a rare. Uncommon, Gimli, Counter of Kills, we got a Gimli, finally. A rare Smeagol Helpful Guide. Ooh, ooh, careful. We got Eowyn, Fearless Knight, another rare. We got a common, Dunland Krebin. Dunland, Krebin from Dunland. We got an Elrond, Master of Heal. Oh, Elrond, that's a good one. Okay, seemed like a pretty good pack there. Let's see what the next card will be. Morgul Knife Wound. We have Erebor Flamesmith, Soothing of Smeagol. The Mushroom Watchdog, Mushroom, interesting. Eowyn, Lady of Rohan, that is an uncommon. Elrond, Lord of Rivendell, also an uncommon. We have Mountain. We got a mountain yet? I think we've gotten everything else. Shadow of the enemy. That's a mythic. Very nice. Mordor, uh, Moria Marauder, I should say. We have a Gimli of the Glittering Gaze. We have Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. We have Green Dragon Inn. That's another mythic. Why is that a mythic? Interesting. We have a rare Elrond, Master of Healers. We got a hollow of that earlier. And uh, Frodo rare. Let's go. These guys look at them. They look a little bit, uh, a little bit interesting. We have a Balrog. Let's go. That has to be a good pack. That is insane. Balrog and Frodo back to back, both hollows. I'll take it. All right. I was just looking at the price guide. There are prices all over the place, I and mean, most of them are like you know, 10, 20, stuff like that. Uh, we also have to be looking for borderless, which I'm sure we pulled a bunch of those. Um, but that is another thing that you know adds into value of Magic the Gathering. You know, new cards. So if it has like no borders and stuff, okay, these do not want to be opened. And that means there must be something crazy inside, right? Right, that's what that means. We got a Pathfinder. We got Bewitching Leechcraft. Soldier of the Grey Host. We have Lothlorien Lookout. We have Legolas, Counter of Kills. Very nice. We have Gift of the Strands. Plains. That's a land. Okay, we have Frodo, Sauron's Bane. That's a rare. That's a nice card. I think we've gotten two of those. Radagast the Brown. There we go. He's in the Hobbit. We have Summons of Saruman, that is a rare. We have Gandalf, Friend of the Shire, uncommon. We have Dol Amroth, Amroth, that is a mythic. We have a Prince Immerhill, the Fair. All right, cool. A uh, Faramir Field Commander, that's an uncommon. And a Delighted Halfling, let's go. Very nice. I feel like we got that earlier, but it was like a different picture. Am I right about that? I don't know, maybe it was a different picture. I'm not sure. Maybe they have like different artworks and stuff or different, maybe this is a different card, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. We have, I think, four packs left, so we're about two thirds of the way through this. Gone on a lot longer than I thought it would, but I've, I've gotten caught up with the artwork. It's very cool stuff. We have Wizards Rockets. Oh yeah, classic. We have uh, the uh, Sirith Ungle Patrol. Slip on the ring. Hey, that's a ring card. Just saying. We got a ring. Brandywine Farmer. We got this one before. The uh, Dunedain Rangers. I wonder how big this set is. Rosie Cotton of the Southland. We have the Island. We have a Moria Marauder. That is a rare. Why is that a rare? We have Horn of Gondor. Very nice. Saradok, Master of Buckland. We have Faramir Field Commander. The Weather Top, a classic moment in the show. In the I want to say show every time. There's a show, but different thing. That is a mythic as well. We have Legolas, Master Archer. That is a rare Legolas. Cool. Rosie Cotton of Southland. I so this is like borderless. Like you see how there's no border around it. That's pretty cool looking card. And then, oh, a Lost Isle Calling, a hollow rare. That is beautiful. Three packs left. No serialization has been found. No real rings, actually, now that I think about it. There are other rings that are not serialized, but we have not gotten them yet, I don't think. Let's go. We have Gimli's Fury. Gimli, good to see you. We have everything, or Earth, he's farthing everything. He's farthing farmer. We have a Great Hall of the Citadel. The Ithilian Kingfisher. Book of... Marzable, Mazarble, Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant Gothmog. Let's go. Land, we got a forest. We have Flame of Anor, Anor with this rare. Display of Power rare. Banquet Guest rare. We got an uncommon, Samwise. Faramir Prince of Ethelion. That's another rare. Oh man, it's trying to rux the special rare. We got a nasty end. That's just a common. Ooh, a Mirkwood Bats. That is really, really pretty. That looks amazing with that borderless. That is going real nice. And then a Gimli, Mournful Avenger. Gimli, the rare version. I like it. Couple chances left for the $2 million trading card. Will we get it? Oh my gosh, let's find out. Here we go. Will we get the $2 million card? Which I already told you guys we're not getting it, but hey, just saying, maybe we could get it. Okay. Uh, wouldn't recommend buying these if you're just trying to get that because they're $400 and you have a one in a million or more chance. <laughs> chance Met Elves. Dun Dunlin Crebine. There we go. We have Gimli's Axe. More Gimli action. Lash of the Balrog. We have Urkenbrand, Lord of the Westfold. We have Friendly Rivalry. Forest. The Watcher in the Water. Ooh, so scary. He's a 9-9, dude. He's a mythic. He is freaking huge. Get that guy out. You're in trouble. We have a King of the Oathbreakers. Denthorn Stone Seer. All right. Gimli Counter of Kills. We got Barandur. Classic. We have a Bilbo Retired Burglar. We have him. And a Elrond Lord of Rivendell. And a Gandalf the Grey. Nice rare. All right. Hollow Rare of Gandalf the gray okay final pack if you guys enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content maybe not like this i don't know because normally it's Yu-Gi-Oh. but uh hey sometimes we gotta open some cool stuff like this hyped magic the gathering set uh, but lord of the rings i mean come on man you gotta see it we gotta see what we can pull lotr has always been awesome so really cool to see this here we go good luck if you guys do open some of this maybe one of you guys will pull a ring if you do let me know down below we have haunt of the dead marshes relentless rohirrim rohirrim in Sphere. We have Orcus Medicine, which probably doesn't work very well. The Bath Song, Uncommon. Shire Sheriff, The Swamp. We have a The Shire. Okay, that is somehow not a land. <laughs> that is a rare. Okay, we have Horn of the Mark. All right. Frodo Adventurous Hobbit. That's a mythic. All right, Frodo Mythic. That's good. Uncommon Peregrine Duke. We have Mines of Moria, my cousin Balin. Long, uh, Lost Isle Calling. Got this in foil earlier. We got a Gothmog Morgul Lieutenant, and is this our last card? Legolas Master Archer. Now that's not a bad way to end this with a, you know, a main character hollow rare card. That's pretty good. All right, this was a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more like this, make sure to let me know down below. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertie Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.